Hi my good lamb friend, back in 18th century, once Philidor said, pawns are soul of the game. And then he elaborated that they dictate the defense and attack of the players. And this game is a perfect example why the pawns are so important in the game. You will see in this game we have an imbalance, uh, exchange imbalance, rook versus bishop. But that's not the main point of the game. The main point is the pawn structure. Let's go forward and see what's that. And I want to take you to the critical moment of the game. So I mostly fast forward the opening moves and some middle game, except some critical moments that I will discuss. This is a Catalan structure. In Catalan structure, you attack the B and B7 and A8 with your fianchetto bishop at g2 with white and this is why mamadiorov played rook a6 to get rid of that attack and later wants to push the b pawn so that bishop is attacking the air but it's not exactly the air we will see soon the bishop at g2 i'm talking about so white initially sacrificed the pawn no white wants to gain back the pawn but black says that no i don't want to give it easily and then white says i want it by all means black defense and then white pushes the pawn to kick the knight even you cannot develop from one side you attack from the others black retreat the bishop not sure if it was the best move but anyways it wasn't harmful and pawn pushed and as you can see, pawn structure of white is not that great. The D pawn has only one defender, the knight. And, and the E pawn is far advanced, it's very good, it's in the opponent's camp, but uh, the defender of E pawn is only the D pawn. So knight goes forward and here white captures the pawn. And Mamadiorov recaptures. In this position, Mamadiorov had a intermezzo move knight b4 attacking the queen after queen moves then only then capture then white of course recaptures uh, captures the a pawn and wins back the lost pawn and everything is equal right now but the point is that what happened in the game is not like that in the game pawn takes then knight takes knight and then bishop takes the a pawn and this bishop now pins the rook and wins the rook so i have a video pin it and we need you may watch it uh, it's a cool one so and yo yeah, and uh, no black is down exchange but uh, look at the pawn structure black has a very good pawn structure in a sense that the pawns on uh, d c and b file are connected together and they are advanced pawns uh, and uh, in next move B pawn can be advanced and soon can go to B3 and that's very dangerous for white if it is supported healthy with not the black with the black pieces. Let's go forward and see what happens in the game and so far also good nothing big happened in the game. Engine doesn't like this move. Engine says that at this position white should have black had to play actively had to play pawn to b4 what's the reason behind this this is here is one of the places that is soul of the game before i explain this yeah before i explain this i should say something else uh, some tactical point here you don't grab this pawn seems free and undefended right and if grabs you grab back yeah all good but this is not that good because first rook attacks the queen if you go greedy and grab the next pawn doesn't help you because you lose all your nice pawns the soul of the game and you may give a check but that check doesn't help you you want to defend the b pawn but your defense goes nowhere and eventually you should give up a queen for two rooks and yeah it's not bad in normal situation but you lose the next pawn as well and this means that you are most likely loser with the bishop and rook against the queen this is not the only problem with 
in black cam if it was only this it was fine but black has a white has a past pawn and it's difficult uh, for black to control everything control the past pawn control the king uh, attacks to the king side is difficult so this was very delicate and important little move uh, that you should take into consideration so you could Mamadirov couldn't take the d pawn and he played bishop e6 to defend its own d his own d pawn and therefore late and um, right now he wants to take the d pawn of white of course carlson defends the pawn and now you see the difference no Mamadirov pushed the pawn but it's a bit late it's a bit late because no white has a chance to push the pawn forward you may say that what's the difference uh, and mamadior of push for pawn forward and the difference right now is that the knight of white can swing go to the e1 and then d3 very nice place whereas in the previous position if earlier mamadior was using the pawns to dictate the attack then pushing the pawn wasn't helpful anymore because first you take the d pawn no we don't have that uh, combination anymore you attack here yeah it's good you win the d pawn of course but after this check i can push my c pawn now this c pawn is advanced pass pawn and it's very difficult for white to play against this is a major difference that you could have pushed it and enjoyed the situation or no you push it with delay first defending the deep on and then pushing which was a mistake relatively big mistake by mamadiorov so no pushes and no white also pushes pawn to it and the uh, right now uh, the difference is that he cannot simply be like cannot capture the deep on and black goes forward and white attacks the black's queen to deflect it actually because white doesn't want to have the queen attacking d pawn doesn't attack just because it's fun to attack but wants to deflect the queen no the queen deflected moves the knight and reposition the knight very carefully played game by magnus Mamadiorov makes the last mistake basically, pushes the pawn. Also, it was very difficult to find any good move. Uh, yeah, push the pawn and then knight goes in. At this position, notice that you cannot take this pawn. Why? Because grabs your bishop. You say that my knight takes back, but then your knight is pinned. And if you try to attack the bishop, it doesn't help. The knight of white joins the attack and wins the piece. And it's very difficult to play this position. So what happened in the game is that pawn takes and knight takes. And this is basically close to the end of a game because now white is up an exchange and black has very weak structure, very weak pawn structure. Before that, Black's pawn structure was amazing. No, his pawn structure is very weak. Black tries one more move, one or two more moves, but uh, it doesn't help. After takes, takes the bishop, and Mamadiorov pushes the pawn to the queen just for fun. And Carlsen went to e1, and Mamadiorov played d3 and resigned. I d3 and resigned. Why, uh, okay, then Mamadiorov, I think, didn't play this move, but uh, resigned at this moment. Why? Because if you play knight d3, for example, attacking the queen and queening your pawn, we simply take the d pawn. And you can't do anything. You take the queen, this is a check, and taking your queen. I hope you enjoy and learn how to use pawns. Bye.